Alan is sort of like a person without a group that he belongs to. He's kind of a loner in a way because uh, I think the joke about that, as far as long as uh, 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 at least how I interpret it, is um, that Alan the doll, which was a real doll in the '60s, didn't didn't have a very successful run. Like, wasn't a very widely loved toy. So I think the way that Greta and Noah handle that in the movie is that he's. Um, sort of this marginalized person in, the, in this world of Ken's who doesn't really, is not like a huge success, basically. He's just a, a loner. I mean, that's another very playful concept, I think, that there are all these Barbies and Ken's and they're all Barbie and Ken, but they're all, even though they're called Barbie and Ken, completely unique and have their own identi and identities and unique personalities. Um, and that's been one of the most exciting things for me about this movie and being a part of it was this cast and being around them and the energy. It's one of those movies where you just shoot a scene, shoot a take, and everybody just brings their themselves to it and their rhythm and the whole thing just feels like, you know, it, the movie's already there. You know, you kind of feel like you're already watching it. And you could just take any take and put that in the movie and, it, and it's gonna work. So it's been a really exciting group to be around. Margot as Barbie has been very exciting to watch. I mean, it's actually just been great to watch Margot working because she's like incredible and so in control of everything she's doing, but um, like completely relaxed on set and having a good time. It's like really great to see someone who's just great at their job. And I feel the same way about Ryan. Um, at, at watching Ryan be so inventive from take to take and just completely changing it up, but every take is great. And you just, you know, just being around people, and I could really say that about everybody in the cast, and being around people who are so good at what they do is just like inspiring, and uh, yeah, it, it's really a good feeling to be around that. Well, I can't imagine anybody else directing it other than Greta. I mean, she's she's been so amazing, you know, wielding this enormous production with so many elements and this enormous production design and um, so many moving pieces. And, you know, in the midst of all that, she's so free and inventive and um, changing things. You know, she does, doesn't seem like there's this enormous pressure on her to rein it in. Instead, she's like reveling in it and play, being playful and bringing so much to it. And, and really, that's a very infectious spirit, too, that the cast, I think, really can pick up on and feel like we can play and have fun. And, you know, and that makes everything loose and feel alive. Uh, within such a you know such a massive um, production so it's it's that's been very impressive and exciting to see i guess what's relevant about it is sort of the conversation about how things change over time and how values change and um you know i mean i i don't really have a strong sense myself of kind of what the evolution of barbie and what what she has meant over the years but i think when it first came out you know, it sort of was, you know, an empowering figure for young girls, even though through the lens of time it seems, you know, it doesn't seem like empowering in aligning with the values of what is empowering today. Um, it feels like that has changed. Um, and I think in the right direction, you know, so I, I like the way that the movie comments on that and the, the way that uh, Sasha, the Sasha character is kind of a very, you know, like wise child actually and has like a good inner value system that questions what her mother, you know, like valued when she was a young girl and, and it doesn't, it, it's not, it's, it's not inspiring for her <laughs> as, a, as a daughter, it's uh, problematic. <laughs>